Hey guys, um, before the video begins, I just wanted to address a serious issue that we had at the Red Roof Inn in Morrow, Georgia. Um, any of my friends, I guess, that do law or anything or, or any kind of uh, media friends that I have that work in, in news stations, uh, I don't know, give me some help on how to tackle this issue because all I really want is an apology from the uh, Red Roof Inn Corporation. And I have not received anything. Uh, as you're about to see in the video, we were treated really horribly. And it got to the point where we actually had to call the police and even the police said that they have a problem with that manager and he's being watched, whatever that means. It was just horrible and you'll see in the video. And I just wanted to, to just talk to you before all the all that stuff happens about how serious this was to us and and no apology was given. It was just, it's it's horrible the way no apology was given for the way that we were treated and for the state that that room was in. The smoke detector not being in that room was my biggest worry. I mean, when we woke up and we saw that the smoke detector wasn't there, what if a fire broke out in that room? We would have burned up. letter that we found under the fucking bed in this place. I don't know what the fuck that Look. is. Just Holy shit, this. it's Josh's fucking diary. Yo, you could use this. Yo, look. Look at this. What is that? Tickle pink body lotion. Oh no, put it on the camera. Fucking knows what the fuck that is. Yo, don't put it on me, man. <laughs> I don't want to touch that shit. Ew. Fuck that shit. There's a sock under the bed. There's a water ball under the bed. Good lord. It's emojis. <laughs> so he writes 52%. What the fuck, Josh? I agree. Exactly. I agree. But that's why we're telling him he's coming to you. Yeah, I'm not trying to bring you into the fold. I, I don't understand what's going on because I don't have no access unless I get his keys. And when we did the fire alarm, it was me and him did the fire alarm together. And after we put back that fire alarm, the, the smoke detector. Right. I didn't have no access to that room after okay. that. So I don't even know what's going on. Me neither. Somebody take out. So who, who knows who take out the from, uh, from I don't have to look and okay. there's a note. A note from somebody. And this is not my note. That's not you my note. You can call fire alarm whatever you call. Okay. If you want, I give you 10% discount or you can call whenever you like to call. What? Wow. I have you I, look. You can call I have you, for it when, whenever you want to call. I have you I have you on tape and I'll and I'll tell corporate. No problem. Uh, what do you mean no problem? That's how you treat customers? Yes, sir. So what's the resolution? Just gonna walk away? Yeah. So we stayed at the Red Roof Inn. I forgot the address. I'm gonna have to just mark it down there, but I'm just letting you know 
watch out. We've been in and out of uh, motels and inns for about, what was it, since Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We've stayed in inns and motels looking for a place for me to live. I gotta give Danny credit. I mean, he sweated it out with me, he stayed in those inns with me. I, I'm still looking for a place. I still haven't found anything. We're on day four or five right now. Oh shit, we're on day six. We're on day six. We, we've been staying in at, at inns and this Red Roof Inn particularly that we stayed in was horrible. The first room that we got, um, it was smoky. We asked for non-smoking. The smell was in bedded in the place for about two days. Uh, we got another room and that room had a loofah inside of the, the bathtub. It had like uh, used creams. It had a lipstick, the, the case of lipstick on the floor. Uh, there was notes. I, I took a video of everything. That is huge. That's a big bitch, huh? That shit will mark your ass. <laughs> That's my limit, man. That's my limit. Fuck that shit. <laughs> That's my fucking limit. Uh. Oh, shit. So like we still haven't heard back from anybody yet for apartments and uh, as I said before I'm getting a little worried now because it's it's Sunday now and Daniel leaves tomorrow and I don't know what I'm gonna do um, 
we put out everything that we possibly could. We 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 called every uh, apartment rental place, uh, studio wise, and anything that we possibly could. We even went to roommates and we we talked to roommates and. We have one potential roommate that I might be with, but he needs to get back to me and he hasn't yet. And so I guess to you know, put my mind at ease, Danny told me that he's just gonna drive me around Georgia and get me at least to know Georgia. He has a friend that lives here who's gonna help me out to get to know the place. And uh, we're just gonna drive around and get to do that so that I know my way around somewhat and so that my nerves are calm. I don't know. Sweet lemonade, yeah, sweet lemonade.